wants plastic bags ban lifted. So this is a farm uh, with the petitioner going to court now saying that they need, they want the ban on plastic bags uh, lifted on grounds that the law condemning the use lacks parliamentary approval. And I mean, when this ban came into effect, I mean, there was a lot of questions in terms of, you know, what's going to replace this, who's going to replace that. But there was no contention on a greater level that this is the direction the country needs to move in terms of environmental conservation. And there was going to be resistance, um, definitely. But this is, is this, you know, especially from a legal point of view, is this a petition that can hold water? Uh, certainly. So when you look at the argument, because it's a petition by the Kenya Association of Manufacturers mm -hmm. and also a private cis, uh, citizen of Kia, the argument is this particular gazette notice was supposed to be uh, tabled before Parliament's Legal Affairs Committee, mm -hmm. the relevant committee in the House that deals with it. Because as per the statutory and uh, statutory instruments act, mm -hmm. All legislations, all regulations ought to be passed through parliament. Right. This seemed not to have been done because at the time when uh, the Gazette notice was issued, parliament was in recess. But it's, it's, it's an omission which will not automatically invalidate because granted, just as you have said, the need to check or regulate or ban the use of plastics it has been globally <coughs> realized. Uh -huh. Rwanda has done it successfully. Right. Other countries have done it because you've seen the menace which has been caused by plastic bags. Uh -huh. So I would uh, want to predict. Granted, uh, the, 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 the court may probably say, well, fine, this law ought to have passed through parliament's committee, but it's not an omission that will automatically invalidate that. They may be given time and say like a time frame of uh, 21 days uh, for Parliament's committee to look into that. All right, but yes. I mean, so far, we, we've all gone through this yes. and we're all uh, trying to change and adapt to the new law. How is it working for you? Because so far, I mean, mm -hmm. it's so far so good. Um, there seems to be less pollution um, of plas plastic bags on our streets. The, the city is looking a lot more cleaner, especially in Nairobi. How has it been working for you personally? Oh, yeah. Personally, I think uh, uh, in, in, in terms of shopping, you know, uh, it, it has meant now you, you dig in deeper. Right. When, when you shop in the supermarket, uh -huh. you have to now uh, chuck that extra 50 bob, 100 shillings to buy the now the other non-degradable bags, right. you know, that, that, that you use for I mean, shopping. I think at the end of the day, yes. that uh, works better mm -hmm. for our pockets because yes. it stops impulsive buying. You yes. realize I do not have a bag, so <laughs> let me go home, you know, if I really don't need this. Suddenly but, uh, so. It's, it, you know, it, it, it works 